Here's the latest from the bridge. Both the Mirror and the Telegraph have apologised about articles they have written regarding the Lord Stevens Bung report. They had stated that Chelsea had been named in Lord Stevens' report on Bungs. However, they have both now admitted that Chelsea were not involved in any wrongdoing and the inquiry found no evidence of irregular payments to any of the club's officials or players. Silly season does continue though and the News of the World has reported that Sean Wright Phillips is rumoured to be in an £11 million transfer target for West Ham. Young Michael Mancian has hit the headlines being linked with a season-long Watford loan despite interest from West Brom, Birmingham City and Wolves. And with one player seemingly on the move, another player previously linked to Chelsea, Micah Richards, has allegedly stated his desire to stay at Manchester City. In tonight's news, we'll have more on all these stories as well as the end-of-season quiz with Didier Drogba and our goal of the season competition. So join us later for all that action and more. Tonight, Zola hints at Chelsea future. Dermot Gallagher discusses life as the man in the middle. And we confirm our pre-season schedule. Hello and welcome to Blues News, a quiet day here at Stamford Bridge, but not without its daily dose of gossip. The papers are off again with their speculations on signings. The Independent say that Chelsea haven't lost interest in signing Florent Maluda from Lyon, also claiming we are interested in signing Serbian prospect Bosko Jankovic from Real Mallorca. The 23-year-old showed impressive form in the recent Euro Under-21 Championships, where according to the paper he had an admirer in the form of Frank Arneson, who was watching the Serbs as they lost the final of the Euro Under-21 Championships to hosts Holland. From one potential superstar to a real one now as Gianfranco Zola returned to London yesterday. This time though he was concentrating on the development of his homeland rather than the future of his country's footballers. Hundreds of fans queued up at Harrods to meet Gianfranco Zola who as always was delighted to sign their memorabilia and have photos with each and every one of them. Zola was there doing his bit to promote the arts and crafts of his homeland. I'm here for, uh, uh, to do a promotional work for, the, for, for Sardinia, so it's, uh, I'm here to promote my beautiful land and uh, you know, I hope people like it as much as I do. So you've been working with Italy under-21s, do you think maybe we might see you in club management one day? I uh, don't know, it's, I'm just uh, try to get uh, the experience uh, the, and also the knowledge to do the, this work. Or whether I'm going to be doing it uh, full time right now, I don't know. As I said, it's uh, something new for me. And, um, and uh, so I'm, I'm trying to understand whether I'm going to be able or not. Uh, so far, uh, very, uh, things uh, went very well and I'm very pleased. Was, uh, especially the last experience with the under-21s has been great. I learned uh, a lot f uh, from it. So if we carry on like that, maybe I'm going to have a chance. <laughs> So you think maybe we can see you back at Stanford Bridge in a management role one day? Ooh, hey, I, who knows, maybe, I don't know. I have to prove uh, to myself first that I'm good enough because, uh, you know, managing Chelsea is not an easy task. Uh, certainly for, 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 for me, it's, uh, it's going to be a pleasure one day to come back uh, here at some capacity, I don't know where, but, uh, you know, the, the experience I had over here has been fantastic. Well, the Chelsea fans miss you very much and we know that they'd love to see you in England again. When you left Chelsea, did some of the fans follow you to come and see you in, in Sardinia? Oh, actually, it was, uh, I was really astonished by that. that uh, you know, see, it happens a couple of times that I was playing and I saw the blue, blue shirts on the, on, the, on, the, on the stand. It was great. But yeah, they did it and it was fantastic for me. What's your favourite Chelsea memory? Oh, I've got a uh, few...